MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. I've come back to 600 UK today. We were here in June at their open house where they launched several new models of machine tools, one of which was the 1400 XC. And I'm here with Trevor and we're gonna go in and look at that machine in a little bit more detail. So Trevor, good morning. Good morning, Paul, how are you? Very well, thank you, very well. This is an exciting prospect for 600 UK. I know this machine was launched in June. Just give me a little bit of a flavor for what's different about the 1400 uh, with the XC. The 1400 XC, as well know, know, um, is a new model for us. It's based on the 1400 XS, world-renowned XS series of machines. And what we've had to do with that feedback from the customers, we've added a full interpolating C-axis to the machine as well. Now this is interesting because this type of machine you would normally associate with just turning, but this particular part that you've got here that we're going to have a look at, I know it's fairly simple, but it does show exactly what the machine can do with the milling capacity and drilling. So if we if we pick if you want to pick that up, Joe. So really we're looking at what drilling and milling on this part. We are, yes, yes. Um, we've done the hexagons, drilling off centre. Um, we used a boring bar to finish the holes off. So the machine is full interpolating, full C-axis work. And what it does, it takes away that second operation where things don't have to put on a slant bed. So we're looking at milling and drilling as well as the turning. So this takes this type of machine into a completely different environment, really, because I think, it, you know, historically, a company would have bought a slant bed lathe, maybe, for example, to get the driven tools. But now they don't have to do that, do they? No, no, no. This will complete everything that they need to do in one operation. Okay, and the actual turret on this machine then, from a drilling and milling perspective, tell me about the turret. The turret is eight station turret, all tools driven tool, each driven tool 5,000 RPM. Okay, it looks to me like it's a VDI, is that correct? It is, yeah, it's a 20 VDI. Um, for this size of machine, we had to go down to a 20 VDI, Paul. Um, we're looking at fitting this to the light of the machines as well, the 1460, which we should be able to go up to a 30 VDI with that. Okay, but I mean, even with the 20 VDI, I mean, the capacity of this machine, it's not a huge machine, so I'm sure that the 20 VDI is, is, is perfectly suited to the size of components that you could be doing. What is the capacity of this, Trevor? The bed is a 1.25 metre, the boat is 55, and the swing over the bed pole is 400 millimetres. Okay, control. So if you're looking to program something like this, you can do that. I know you've got a the popular Fanuc control and you have your own control system, the Alpha system as well. Would you you'd program this in, in Fanuc and the manual guide? We have, as we have, everybody knows with the Alphas, three programming systems. We have our own Harrison's Alpha system, which is obviously unique to us. Then we have the Fanuc manual guide, conversational programming system, and the full CNC G code system. The turret and the C axis stuff will never, never be fitted onto the Alpha system itself, onto the Harrison's own Alpha. All the C-axis will be programmed through the manual guide, conversational programming, or the G-code programming system. But that makes perfect sense, really, to be fair, because the Alpha system, from my knowledge, is a very, is, is very entry-level type of yeah. uh, control system. So when you start to get a little bit more sophisticated, manual guide and FANUC is, is perfectly placed to assist that. Obviously, yeah. The Alpha system was designed as a step up from a centre lathe. Um, so we don't want to overcomplicate it by trying to fit C-axis work into that as well, which will mean a complete rehash of all the software inside. And has this machine been introduced as a result of market demand? So has 600 UK, you obviously do your research with, with people that use your machines, but have they kind of said, yeah, we, we need something in between the semi-CNC lathe, which is just for turning in a slant bed? It has, yeah. We've always listened to our distributors what they wanted. Um, they wanted a, a flatbed machine where they could finish the component in one hit. So adding the C-axis work to an alpha made a lot of sense to everybody and then distributors are really, really happy with what we've produced here. Yeah, and I don't think it's unreasonable of me to say that there isn't a lot of competition for you with this type of product really, with, with the C-axis and the driven tools. Would that be fair? That's a fair comment, yes. Yeah. There's not much out there on the market with uh, a flatbed with C-axis on. And as of today, this particular machine is the first machine to be fitted with uh, the turret and the, uh, and the C-axis uh, integrated into it. Will you be adopting this onto the bigger machines? We will, Paul, yeah. We're going to adopt it onto the 1460. Um, we already have a 1550, which we call the XM, which already has C-axis work and driven tooling on there. We do have a smaller machine than this called the 1350XS, but because of the size of the motor and the turret, we won't be fitted into that size of machine. 
And I think with the turret being the biggest part of what we're discussing here, when you are looking at milling and drilling, is, is there anything it can't do? Not really, no, no. It covers all angles and all bases. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, it, it doesn't come much... Uh, simpler and more straightforward than that. So, Trevor, thanks for your time. I know people can come and see this machine here, can't they, at, at 600 UK. You'll be taking it to exhibitions as well, maybe Mac next year or Emo? It's going to Emo this year in, in Milan, and it will be at the opposite Mac next year with a, a good selection of other machines. OK, well, it's, uh, it's a really good machine. I wish you luck with it. Thanks, Thank Trevor. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.